God's kindness meets our deepest need. Our Daily Bread Today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional was written by James Banks. James writes, God sent you to me tonight. Those were the parting words from the woman standing in front of me as we exited our flight to Chicago. She had sat across the aisle from me, where I learned she was headed home after several flights and a round trip that day. Do you mind if I ask you why you had such a quick turnaround, I inquired. She glanced downward. I just put my daughter in rehab for drug abuse today. In the moments that followed, I gently shared the story of my son's struggle with heroin addiction and how Jesus had set him free. As she listened, a smile broke through her tears. After the plane landed, we prayed together before parting, asking God to break her daughter's chains. Later that evening, I thought of Paul's words in 2 Corinthians 1, 3-4. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves receive from God. You know, all around us are people who need to be encouraged with the comfort only God can give. He wants us to reach out to them with tender-hearted compassion, to share the love He has shared with us. May God send us to those who need His comfort today. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 1-10. through 10. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, and Timothy, our brother. To the church of God in Corinth, together with all his holy people throughout Achaia, grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves receive from God. For just as we share abundantly in the sufferings of Christ, so also our comfort abounds through Christ. If we are distressed, it is for your comfort and salvation. If we are comforted, it is for your comfort, which produces in you patient endurance of the same sufferings we suffer. And our hope for you is firm, because we know that just as you share in our sufferings, so also you share in our comfort. We do not want you to be uninformed, brothers and sisters, about the troubles we experienced in the province of Asia, we were under great pressure, far beyond our ability to endure, so that we despaired of life itself. Indeed, we felt we had received the sentence of death. But this happened that we might not rely on ourselves, but on God, who raises the dead. He has delivered us from such a deadly peril, and He will deliver us again. On Him we have set our hope that He will continue to deliver us. That's today's scripture reading from 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 1 through 10. Let's pray. We praise you for your compassion for us at the cross, Lord. Help us to comfort others with your kindness and love today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries. 